Alrighty then, it's time for an Inferno Moomoo game. Let's get this show on the road. And this is a league partner Chroma skin that was gifted to me. So every now and then I'll probably post a code like right here or over there and other places, right? So just keep your eyes out for them. I have about six or so codes left for North America and one more for EU West. Although I'm pretty sure Riot might give a few more and you can watch other YouTubers and get their codes too. Nonetheless, the green chroma is something I've sort of dubbed the uh, onion, uh, the green onion uh, Amumu. Just because look at it, it looks like a little green onion walking around and there's little fumes of him, you know, are just uh, the little onion stains that cry cause you to cry. And you know what? This skin might be overpowered. It just feeds into Amumu's tears. Anyways, it's a normal game, so whatever, right? I decided to play with some groupies from Discord and not take it too seriously and just play whatever we got. And I wanted to also obviously try out the new Amumu skin because it actually looks really cool. And if you guys didn't know this, you can only really tell by uh, watching my stream sometimes, uh, there are a few champions that I have a ton of skins for. And Amumu is, I think I only don't own two of his skins. And I think that's uh, Party Amumu and Little Knight Amumu. So... Yeah, he's one of the champions I pretty much bought every skin that's ever come out for. And then the other one is Trindamir, Zinzao, and I only am missing one Jarvan skin, and that's the uh, the Void Jarvan, or whatever that one is. It's not that cool. Anyways, I'm grateful that Riot is finally supporting uh, YouTubers and Twitch streamers, which is pretty much any content creator for League of Legends. I wonder if they're also doing artists, you know, just people who draw for stuff, like, you know, FF Sada and stuff, but we'll see. Nonetheless, though, like I said, it's pretty cool skin. Uh, unlike the Aurelia skin or Chroma that I thought was exclusive and I was trying to show it off and be like, look what I got. No, this, this is an actual unique one. Nonetheless, it's a pretty basic game so far. Basic Amumu build. I'm not going AP. The team is a little tanky to, uh, to consider going, you know, explosive on them. And I just kind of have to cry on top of them and reduce their health to uh, smithereens. Essentially a tank build. You know... Cinder Hulk, and then whatever the hell I want. I played like three games with the skin, and I kind of don't I didn't like all the builds I took with him. Uh, I just haven't played him in a while. It's, even if it's a normal game, I kind of feel I should have, you know, given more thought into my builds to consider playing them in actual games. So nonetheless, I'm, I'm digressing. You can see I'm invading the enemy Camille a ton right now, mostly because she's sort of wandering off on her own. Urgot knew this, so he tried to stop me, but I you know, just slingshot away using the minions. He flashes to try to chase me down, and he chases way more than he needs to. And it's like, this is a bad idea, Urgot. Gets in between me and Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser having his W, just grinding away at the Urgot. And no matter how much uh, the Mordekaiser were losing early game, uh, the Urgot stood no chance in hell. So, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and Camille decides to get really brave and invade me. Which, I knew what was ha what it was going to happen. I just didn't think it, sh it would be this reckless. Though, this here on, on my own part was pretty reckless. I was thinking of, you know, just making sure to blow up the plant and not land next to her. Just so eventually she would get caught by the Mordekaiser. But, it worked out. It cost me a flash to get an extra kill, but it worked out. Nonetheless... I cannot begin to tell you what the next skin will be, so I'm kind of excited to be posting these links. So yeah. Anyways, that's kind of a weird replay bug. You know, just the fact that the Urgot, uh, Urgot's murder execution ultimate just shows up regardless of whoever is being trapped. Here's also another thing. The replay has been really buggy as of late. You can't actually switch anything on and off. You have to actually use the keybinds rather than your mouse to do so. So it's a little weird. That instance right there kind of sucked because if you use uh, the uh, yeah, Yusu. If the Yasu brought them closer to me, I would have been able to uh, slingshot one of them and easily destroy both of them. So, unfortunately, he had to die for that. Fortunately, though, the enemy team at this point is kind of uh, scattering about and going for these weird engagements. That it just makes it easy to CC them down and destroy them. So, so far, good for us. Although, here I die and, you know, a shameful death, but it ends up costing Camille her life. You know... I don't really know whether or not Camille is still a viable jungler, considering she just kind of popped out of nowhere as a jungler. But he's so far not convincing me otherwise. I haven't actually uploaded a video of hers because she seems like a champion that... I don't know, she seems like a less fun-to-play version of Jarvan. And, you know, people made comparisons of her saying that, you know, she's just a new and better Jarvan. I disagree. Jarvan is still the, the manliest, purest thing in the world. Anyways... Uh, anyways, 
Camille keeps getting killed. Yasuo gets destroyed by the Urgot. I, fi I find myself here being caught. Cho'Gath flashes out of my ultimate. And then we get in this weird little scuffle here where they just kind of ignore me. And then, therefore, I take a ton of damage. And then Mordekaiser gets to do, you know, Mordekaiser's thing of, I'm nearly dying. Turn around, cast two abilities, uh, you know, heals back half his health. The enemy team panics, and he and I just kind of very, very closely kill off the remainder. Mordekaiser does die, but look at my health at the end of this. Urgot deals a lot of damage in a 1v1 scenario, and, you know, Amumu doesn't do enough to finish him off, but I survive with a sliver of health. And then Camille, you can see, was chasing me down again. Anyways... That's another code. Take it if you can. So, so far that's been three codes. Hopefully, some of you have gotten them. And if you didn't, you know, just stand by. And like I said, maybe another YouTuber will hand it out. Again, this is just a normal game. And it's more likely just a vehicle to deliver uh, the skins to you guys. For being loyal fans, for watching all the way through, and, you know, getting there. And they decide to dive me again, or, I don't know, attack me. This is a very awkward flash of mine, because I, I didn't try to flash over the wall. I just tried to flash in range of my Q at the very tippy top. Or to the very tippy tip, just so I can grab the other, uh, grab onto one of them and get in ult range and you know destroy them. So it looked awkward, but it was totally necessary in order to get in range of my Q. And they give chase to us. Alistair's really tanky, and you know I'm just a little too far. They change targets. Misfortune shows up and starts chunking people down. Urgot flashes over. Misfortune gets Leona ulted, but at this point they're just too colossal for it to matter. She just guns them down like degenerates. And essentially, I mean, this game has long been over, right? But, you know, it could have been a lot better, but the enemy team seemed to have just sort of, you know, wandered around allowing themselves to, you know, die. And, of course, my team composition, while having some odd champions in there, it's pretty solid. So, hooray for us. Slingshot to Leona. She's going to try to get to the Alistair, but he hex flashes over. She gets CC locked and, you know, slowly grind it down. Hooray. Out of the way, though. I actually really do like this skin. I'm unsure how I feel about all these bundle chromas coming up and maybe even some of the YouTuber exclusive chromas. I feel they should at least be timed. You know, initially you get it and then eventually you can uh, purchase it standard. Because I feel that, you know, some people would just feel left out because it seems like a complete random chance that some people will nab it. But still, though... The fact that Riot is even doing it in the first place, you know, helping support longtime YouTubers or new coming YouTubers is pretty good. It's pretty nice. So thanks for watching and I hope you were the lucky one to get one of the three or this fourth code right now. And if you liked this video, remember to give it a like. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure to hit the little bell up there somewhere so you actually get notifications to my videos because YouTube and stuff.